Hi, I'm Greg Esselbacon with Veterans for America First. Here I am uh, at Turning Point SAS with Preston Parra, former Turning Point Ambassador. And he's going to go over a little bit about Turning Point and a little bit, what, a little bit about what he does um, in Georgia as well. So Preston, thank you for joining absolutely. us. Absolutely, thank you for um, having me. Absolutely. If you could just um, introduce yourself, yeah. um, what you do, what you currently do, and um, how you've been involved in um, politics and what you've been doing with Turning Point. Yeah, so I'm a first-generation American. Um, my dad immigrated here legally from Colombia. Um, automatically instilled that, you know, America first passion in me when I was growing up. And so that's when I got into politics. I've been with Turning Point USA for many years now, both on the campus and abroad, nationally, on the national field scale. Um, and we do a lot of work. We Our main goal is to fight against the indoctrination of professors uh, when they're trying to, you know, push liberal policy, liberal education on the students. Um, and we've seen a lot of that, especially with the lockdown, especially with the mass thing, all these school board meetings, it really, I mean, there's been indoctrination, but the last year and a half, two years, we've seen it blown up, we've seen it now documented, we've seen it um, all over social media, um, at school board meetings, on Facebook posts, things like that, and um, it's a real thing, and um, so what, are, what exactly is Turning Point doing to counter the indoctrination that's going on uh, on college campuses. Yeah, so our headquarters does a phenomenal job at providing us with the resources, you know, merchandise, also funding for you know schools to be able to go out and have events and bring people in and show them the significance of what being a patriot for your country means because these days if you're a patriot, you're canceled. But you know, uh, when, when you go out and you talk to people, more people than not believe in free speech and that's really a connecting key I've found to connect people to the Turning Point base. And so we're out there on the, on the campuses every day across the country, um, enlightening people and opening their eyes you know, from the liberal muck that's you know, kind of coated them for a while. Well, it's always good to hear because a lot of people, is, I mean, there's a saying, you go into college as a conservative, you come out as a liberal. As we all know, college campuses are very left-leaning. Um, and it's always good to have somebody on campus to counter that. So when that happens, a lot of things happen since you're the, usually the only group. Right. You get hit with slander, you get hit with counter protests, you even get can some events canceled. Right. So has that been a problem in your line of work and what have you done to counter that? Yeah, it has actually. Um, I'm, I'm known for being like, you know, sort of the provocateur, unintentionally of course. I wear my MAGA hat around campus and It's always like a good that. thing. Exactly. And um, I've had, you know, people, people of color mostly, uh, come by me and call me names and, and things like that. You know, I'm a minority myself. Yeah. And so I reported it to the vice president, and report anyone specifically, but um, I reported to the vice president. He had appointed me chair to the Code of Conduct Board, which is tremendous. It just goes to show, you know, you take action with what these liberals are doing, the threats and baseless, you know, insults that they hurl at you. You can act, enact real change, and that's what we did at University of West Georgia. Well, that's always good to hear, and congratulations on that. So, um, wrapping things up here, what do you plan on doing for this midterms? Are you helping any candidates? Are you doing anything in the community? Yeah, we've we've already saw too. Uh, you know, Myra Flores' victory helped her. Um, we're doing a lot of stuff social media wise for the Latino candidates that are running. I think you're seeing a large exodus of Latino voters from the Democratic Party, which is a tremendous thing. So just helping along with that. Yeah, and um, I think a lot of people realize that the Latinos and the Hispanics. They're going to decide this midterm. Absolutely. Um, thank you, Preston, for joining Absolutely. us. Thank it's always a pleasure. Me. Thank you. Yep.